the Outlander has to respect. A well-fought victory against that Outlander buffoon. You showed Sweet. You oh, yeah, people give us stuff battle. now. We are all in your debt, but the Ministry of Culture is particularly so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. I like money. Is... Uh... I demand more appease me. Uh, we did just kill the guy. Basically. We didn't kill the guy. We I, sent him. I was hoping we could kill the guy because I felt him. like he he deserved. Um, I, I like certainly I deserve more than this. I like this I the Ministry of Culture. Though. Don't you think we should be nice to them? <laughs> I was shot. Fair. I did not expect this from someone who performed so well in the debate. Clearly, the Outlander's bull. Uh, yeah, I was gonna do the first one. On you. Nah. Here, a few more coins, but there will be no more. If attention is brought to this now, you will suffer as much as our business is concluded. Take out more money from him. That's fine. Yeah, and another thousand things. Uh, there's a scroll over to your right, by the way. Uh, sorry. Uh, Left. Also, interesting. That's a shrine. Uh, yep, right. Uh, well, it was to the right of her. Uh, the Mysterious East scholars know little about the culture that lies across the glass ocean. Awesome name for oceans. Yeah. Uh, the tribes of that land have a sizable amount of gold and near insatiable demand for silk and spice spices. They also seem to be able to manufacture metals to an astounding degree, though perhaps not as in as sophisticated a manner as our master tradesmen. Still, something on the other side of the glass ocean bears investigation. Unfortunately, Few trade fleets have ever successfully made the passage, and those trade caravans that do pass follow a circuitous route through unenlightened people hostile to the Jade Empire. I feel like this is a scroll that sets up a sequel, really, like, in terms of a world-building aspect. That... I, yeah, I think it, it. you very well could have been, like, uh, like the Iron Cities or yeah. something like that in the, in, the, in the East or the West. Look at that, we're already a... <laughs> We're already a third to the uh, really another level great. up. That's crazy. Um, okay, well, I don't need to talk. Uh, you should talk to some of these people. You have completely routed the Outlander. I okay. Thank you. Greetings, and welcome to the Scholar's Garden. I see by your accoutrements that you are not from the Imperial City. I hope your visit here is one of fulfillment. Well, everyone is so nice to be in the city. Yeah. As if I'm not, like, trying to go after said, the assassins. All valuable <laughs> silk are new friends in a foreign land. If you need anything, oh. I'll be glad to assist you. Thanks, buddy. As sagacious Tien once oh, said, my God. kind words and respectable... Is he one of these guys that just oh, quotes him? Oh, my God. I think so. Like, I was like, oh, you seem nice. Oh, you're just going to keep quoting this, are you? I am honored that you would ask me, though I must warn you. The teachings take a lifetime to learn. You sure about that? I'm a quick learner. I mean, it feels like Perhaps don't be a dick. The core principles Help those you can. All right, let's go. Let's see what the core principles are. Uh, very simple, but implications are astoundingly complex at the heart of the teaching concept of harmony and discord. Okay. Also referred to as the way of the open palm and the way of the fist, one cannot exist without the other. Harmony with the world comes from understanding your place in the world. And oh, okay. You can never achieve harmony. Okay, so you can you can. Uh... I like the idea that you can be harm out, be in a way of harmony with the closed fist. Discord I think that's actually great. It's really cool. Oh. The path of discord seek their own advancement over everything else. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. These people will ignore the world and use whatever means necessary to raise themselves above their station. Sagacious Tien taught both harmony and discord to his students, for one cannot be fully known without the other. However, he himself followed the way of harmony. Oh, okay. So he was open palm like we are. Yeah. All right, that's that's easy. I'd like to ask you something different. And we <laughs> do <laughs> will bring us together again one day. Farming. Farewell. I wish we got something that was like, oh, by the way, any conversation you have also. Okay. This guy is old, old. Yeah, he is. Please be calm. Okay. 
I love how he goes on about calm and then he's like, take be quick about it. Like, well, he's like, oh, I think his whole thing was, why are those rocks floating and need to be chained down? I could not tell you, man. We're in a weird place. But see, here's the thing. The guy was like, how dare you say spirits? And I just want to be like, floating rock. Well, yeah, because that was one of the parts of the debate was like, your eye, you only you govern your eyes. Like, bro, there's floating rocks here. Like, why well, are you? Yeah. You know? What is it you do here? Okay. Oh, tell me about, uh... Go down one more. Oh. Mm. Why would I want to intimidate an old man? This guy's really mean, man. Okay, I'm just. Oh, I was gonna be like intimidate him. Like, I'm not gonna intimidate. He's an old guy. Hello there, traveler. Forgive my forwardness, but I noticed your arrival earlier while I was at the tavern. Oh, thank you. We we love our flying machine too. I actually have a design for a new prototype flyer, and I hope to get funding to build it. One you need money? Can I get more? Can I get an even cooler flyer? Uh. Yes. You, you want to ask me something? Well, <laughs> sure, I'd be. Any good? Mm. Okay, so I guess if you were talking to all these guys, it would be this is what you would need to do to get information to Pretty. join Death's Hand. Right. Uh, it's, that's Pretty, what I like kind of feel then. Yeah. Oh, Skull Stand. Uh, the fiscal unit, uh, the philosopher's viewpoint. Here we go. Though scholar Xiao Zhang has raised several interesting points in his rebuttal to my treatise on the physical world, his lack of respect for the divine is of greater concern than his lack of understanding of the physical world around him. I agree that there are many aspects to our world that cannot be explained by divine influence alone. We learn and continue to thrive at the mercy of the celestial beings. Without their guidance and indeed their blessing, we would quickly discover that research and understanding of our physical world alone are not nearly enough for us to survive. Could have done a little bit more up and down there, but I don't think it was bad. You're welcome, guys. I can't do voices, but I can read passionately. All right. Okay. Um, Without further ado, I'm going to get back to the arena. See if we can go wail on some people? Yep. With a gun. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've already read all I'm, this. I'm waiting for the f final person that we're gonna go like smack one yeah uh to be um shot in the face yeah just to be like be like i'm gonna come at you with bam all right well oh whoops whoa okay hostile the sturdy door oh maybe we can open that and go in there with uh some fox later oh <laughs> ha ha or like I, three um, layers of jokes in there. That is, I've done that before. Who are you? This uh, would be a great oh, turn around. Tragedy. That guy right there. Turn around. That guy. He has a stuff. Oh, hello. I'm sorry. I was just muttering to myself. I'm in some trouble and. Wait. You. You could help me. You're clearly not from around the Imperial City, and I need someone's help most desperately. Someone unaffected by the politics. Yeah, I could give less about the Imperial City. I think we were actually very up with the politics in this place. Well, what can we do to help? Well, you see, there's been a mix-up. No, an error. Oh, who am I kidding? Some bastard has changed my play. I am Incisive Chorus, the playwright. I'm sure you've heard of me. And if not, you have now, I suppose. Okay. One of my productions has been touring the countryside and catching people's attention. We were asked to bring it into the city and perform here in the okay. golden way. The play must go on, but not as they want it. The play has been changed, you see. One very key piece of the play has been rewritten. Oh. Once you change this scene, you change the very soul of the production. It's hardly my play at all if they perform it their way. Yes, yes. They've changed it from a commentary of man's inhumanity to man to a satire of the Empire. I tell you truthfully that they've lost the whole point of the piece. Uh. 
not to mention that certain fashions from the satire of the empire. There's that too. Anyone could take offense. Now I'm doubly concerned. Of course I would pay you. In fact, I'd back. This is odd. It's just that there's no going rate for female actors or whatever you'd be called. It's unheard of. <laughs> wow. Of course there are, though I'm not supposed to know it. The entire establishment turns a blind eye to them. They deserve that much respect. I hear the bosom binding, pants stuffing, and whatnot is a far cry from comfortable. Oh. The irony is that many of them get cast as female roles. Fresh faces, you see. Leaving us with a woman playing a woman through four layers of costume. Most unsightly. I myself have pushed long and hard for realism. Verisimilitude is the word they're throwing out these days. And what better way to avoid all that unnecessary shirt stuffing? Alas, tradition often becomes a barrier blackened by short-sightedness that is not easily overcome. Okay. I need that Are we fire going that down with the patriarchy here? Right. I think we're going down with the patriarchy here. I will gladly offer you the going rate for a leading man just for a walk-on part. I need you to take a role in the play and read the role the uh, original way. You have a most regal bearing, so I'd expect you'd have no, well, no major problems at any rate acting the role of Lady Fourteen Flowers. If you talk to first degree thespian Fong up by the pagoda, tell him you're the replacement actor. He'll be desperate. So all you'll have to do is read the proper lines. That will be a bit tricky. I wow. Okay. I didn't, I didn't expect us to be taking this uh, this turn here. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like real quick. I was like, oh, he's got something for us. Yay. It'll be. Here's a copy of the original script for your scene. Pivotal, I assure you. This copy reads properly. Hurry over to the large pagoda overlooking the Golden Way and tell Fong that you're the replacement. They won't wait forever. So I see. step quickly to it. Remember, you'll have to memorize your lines. No script on stage, of course. Also, make sure you read from this script. Now, good. No, you're about to perform, so I shan't jinx it. Get yeah, so I think I should probably read the script real quick. Yeah. Plot items. The original script for your scene as Lady Fourteen Flowers in this version of the in this version of the play, your character explains that the end of the Jade Empire's expansion occurred because um, Sagacious Tien listened to the will of the heavens. The theme of the heavens reaching out to the Emperor is explored at least twice, and it contains historically accepted truth that. The northern border of the Jade Empire was traced by a shooting star. There will likely be a book and scroll stand near the stage where you can study your part in more detail. Okay. Got it. So we have to go to the... Uh, back yep. Pagoda. Back up top to the Pagoda thingy. There are a lot of these little Shih Tzus. The guy wearing a tie? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> no, it's, this is his beard. According to the original script, the correct response is it was dusk, but in the revised script, it was midday because the flower... Okay. Excuse me. You're in my way, and I'm trying to keep an eye out for our replacement actor. I am actor. the replacement actor. <laughs> you? You're the replacement? By the starry river, that is the best makeup job I've ever seen. We'll barely have to touch you up to play Lady Fortune. Yeah, now. makeup. Lady Fourteen Let Flowers. Me just say, your costume makes everything look very uh, authentic. Yes, yes. Well, good job. Oh, I bet I am authentic you to you, huh? Scripts when they sent you over here. Let me see that. No, 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 no. This is all wrong. They sent you with the old script. Bloody Actors Guild. The script's recently been revised. So even if you're familiar. Why was the script changed? Nobody's nobody's told me this yet. Yeah. A southern noble funded the location and travel for us, but wanted to make a few tweaks. We couldn't afford to miss the exposure. Our writer wasn't that happy, but we accepted the revisions and here. I'm sure your actors guild told you that we have standard rates. We'll happily pay you the going rate for lead, especially since this is short notice. Like I'm getting paid for this. Scene and you get nothing, just like normal. It oh, is a Oh no. 
what do you consider ruining the scene? I think it's going to make me change between what the playwright intended and getting paid. Just get at least half the lines correct and the crowd will figure out what's happening. Any less than that and it becomes one of those obscure plays no one likes. Now, read that script over. Come talk to me when you've got it and we'll get you into final costume and onto the stage. I received an edited script. That's weird. Okay, so... Uh, blah, blah. It seems that their lines, they must... Got it. Uh, there are acting notes that shouldn't make it easy to remember the lines properly. All right. Uh, yeah, first half. Uh, your first line seems to be the same in both. Uh, okay, color banners. They should be white. Yep. Uh, second line. A uh, line that was changed between scripts. There are two versions. Uh, about the time of day. The indecisive court uh, speaks hence at dusk, so it's white. Let's all check this. Uh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna do this the smart way. Uh, I can't have notes on the screen, but we can have notes on the screen. So we're gonna do white dusk. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's dusk because we're we're going with the original. Yes. Um, third line, same. Edge of a great plane. So. Great Plane. Okay, Great Plane. Fourth line. Have two versions. Must have been edited when the play came to the city. In the script, uh, the theme was the heavens reaching out. Uh, Tien is explored again. Your character comments the season change. So... In the edited version, your character comments of the war... The warmth can hide an icy heart. So seasons change. Yeah. Fifth line, this should be the same. And the director notes that you'd be answering roughly who did the emperor turn to? The emperor turned to the heavens themselves. So heavens. And then the last line. Your character comments on how a shooting star traces the border across the sky. Got it. Yeah. Go. Have you read this? That's the spirit. Sweet. Let me 